By 1989, the original Transformers toy line was on its last legs in America, and Hasbro was trying more and more different things every year to try and stay fresh. To compete with the newest toy craze, Galoob's Micro Machines, a range of itty bitty vehicles and playsets, this year saw the company debut their own Micro Transformers. Micro Masters. Two inch tall Autobots and Decepticons who, despite their small size, were still fully transformable toys. Like the commercial jingle said, Presented by the marketing as commandos about the size of humans, whose small stature allowed them to go places full-size Transformers couldn't, Micromasters were sold in themed packs of four. Military vehicles made up the Battle Patrol, Emergency Vehicles the Rescue Patrol, Jets the Airstrike Patrol, and so on. Just like Micro Machines, the figures were supplemented by a wide variety of play sets that their tiny size allowed them to interact with, transforming vehicles, bases, and battle stations that could be linked up to form whole Micro Master cities, including the centerpiece of the line, the gigantic Autobot Rocket Base. The Micro Master play pattern continued into the final year of the original toy line, 1990, with the addition of Micro Master Combiners. Pairs of MicroMasters who each formed half a vehicle, connecting end to end with each other to make a complete one. Sold in themed squads of six, and with their own unique combining vehicles and bases, they could mix and match with others of their kind to form all sorts of wacky combinations. The Marvel comic book explained that MicroMasters had been created by the Autobots on Cybertron as a means of conserving fuel on the energy-starved planet. Smaller warriors simply needed less fuel to run. Unfortunately, the Decepticons were able to capture and study some of them and built their own MicroMasters in response. Viewing themselves as a new and improved, more efficient generation of Transformer, several of the MicroMasters were depicted as rebellious punks with no respect for their gas-guzzling elders. In particular, the Race Car Patrol starred in one of the most memorably offbeat stories of the whole comic series, when patrol leader Road Handler found celebrity as a professional wrestler. This idea of Transformers using smaller bodies to conserve energy would later be revisited in the 1990s series Beast Wars, which revealed that centuries in the future, the entire Transformer race would eventually follow the MicroMasters' lead, downsizing their bodies as part of a race-wide upgrade from Autobots and Decepticons to Maximals and Predacons. Hasbro's Japanese partner Takara, meanwhile, would not import the MicroMaster toys until 1990, but when they did, they went all in on them in a way that even Hasbro hadn't. Between 1990 and 1992, past even the end of the original toy line in America, Takara expanded the MicroMaster range with new figures and accessories. There were new full-size Transformers who could convert into bases for MicroMasters, Micro trailers, spring loaded launchers that shot MicroMasters into action, and even brand new MicroMaster characters, including a MicroMaster version of Hot Rod and a whole new range of combining MicroMasters, teams of six who had the power to merge into larger robots. But though the toys didn't arrive until 1990, the Rescue Patrol and the Rocket Base did appear regularly in the 1989 Japanese exclusive animated series Transformers Victory, with many others showing up in the direct-to-video special Transformers Zone the following year, in conjunction with the toy's release. Rescue Patrol leader Holly was a particularly prominent character, best friend and companion in mischief to the Autobots' human friend Jan Minakaze. These series reimagined the MicroMasters as childlike characters who came from a Cybertronian colony on the planet Micro. 21st century additions to the Japanese story would later explain that the little bots were originally non-transforming robots from Cybertron, who had come to Earth in the 1980s while searching for the missing Optimus Prime, and who had gained the power to transform after exposure to a dimensional shockwave. They had decamped from Earth and founded Planet Micro under the leadership of Hot Rod after he downsized himself to micro size. 
In 2002's Transformers Armada, a new kind of tiny transformer was introduced. Minicons. These little robots were initially distinguished from Micromasters by their ability to power link with and provide power boosts to larger transformers. But in the years since their introduction, that distinction has steadily been lost, as Minicon has evolved to become the catch-all name used by Hasbro to refer to all kinds of small transformers, encompassing headmasters, target masters, and more. And the line between what Minicons are and what Micromasters were has blurred almost to the point of irrelevance. Accordingly, in that time, use of the term Micromaster has been limited to revisitations of the original characters and toys, rather than applied to anything new. For starters, Dreamwave Productions gave Micromasters a big turn in the spotlight through their comic books in the early 2000s. They published profiles for every single Micromaster character, many of whom had never had any characterization before, and they released a dedicated four-issue Micromasters miniseries that centered on the Hot Rod Patrol as they attempted to foil a plot by Skystalker to destroy all full-size Transformers, leaving a planet of only Micromasters for him to rule. In this continuity, as in the Marvel comic, Micromaster technology was a fuel conservation measure developed on Cybertron during the four million years that followed Optimus Prime and Megatron's departure from the planet, in response to Cybertron growing fatally low on energy. Some of the little robots had previously been full-size Transformers who downsized their bodies, but most were newly created as a joint project during a temporary Autobot Decepticon alliance. Also as in Marvel, Micromasters were mostly anti-authority young punks who wanted little to do with the war their makers had drafted them into, and they formed their own breakaway gangs and cross-factional subculture. Though the Micromasters miniseries is often regarded as one of the low points of the Dreamwave era, it remains the most in-depth look at the Micromaster concept, and the only notable role that a great many Micromaster characters have ever had. In the world of IDW Publishing's comic books, Micromasters were created by the evil scientist Geaxis, not for fuel efficiency, but as an attempt to develop a life form that could survive in the undead parallel dimension known as the Dead Universe. Geaxis experimented on the human-sized organic inhabitants of the planet Gorlum Prime, rebuilding their bodies through cybernetic upgrades. Micromaster Combiners, on the other hand, had a different origin altogether. They hailed from the Cybertronian colony world of Division, where Transformers were born with their sparks bonded in pairs. And in addition to these two origin stories, several classic Micromaster characters would also appear in IDW's comics as full-size, non-Micromaster natives of Cybertron. In Beast Wars Uprising, an alternate version of the Beast Wars universe featured in stories from the Transformers Collectors Club, Cybertron had become so low on energy that the full-size Autobots and Decepticons could no longer power their bodies enough to move, leaving the Micromasters, led by Hot Rod, still able to function thanks to their small, fuel-efficient bodies, to serve as their enforcers, policing the Maximals and Predacons. Highlighting the blurred line between the two concepts, several of the Micromasters featured in Uprising were based on Minicon toys. In terms of toys, the Transformers Universe line of the mid-2000s saw the Japanese six-member combining Micromasters released in Hasbro markets for the first time. And in the 2010s, the Transformers Generations line released new versions of a handful of classic Micromaster characters packed in with larger figures, who could transform from robot to vehicle to a gun for their bigger partner. This theme has continued into 2018's War for Cybertron Siege toy line, which features even more returning Micromaster characters sold in packs of two under the original Patrol names, with each pair able to combine together to form a weapon for larger figures to wield. These weapon forms serve to further illustrate the way the original, simple Micromaster concept of tiny Transformers has become conflated with other tiny robot concepts from throughout Transformers history, but it's nice to have the little guys back for as long as it lasts.
Their scattered history means it's tough to predict where they'll pop up next after Siege. But like they taught us back in the 80s, Microsize has always had the power to surprise. And those are the basics on Micromasters. What are your opinions on these tiny titans? Maybe you're more of a minicon person. Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you can, please consider supporting the channel on Patreon.